Hello everybody, Claire back again with our um, next video in the Let's Make a Collection of Tags series and we're going to make the February tag which is quite pretty. Um, let me take you through what we need for this. Two tags cut out of the um, tag and book plate die and also the oval book plate as well and then uh, two eyelets also off the same die um, the cupid and heart two hearts one cupid cut from the movers and shapers cupid and heart the letters that you want to put on those are those pieces. Um, some glossy accents, candy cane stickles, and the inks are uh, vintage photo, tea dye, and fired brick. And then I used um, coffee archival ink for the stamping, a jar of UT and our clear embossing pad and the stamps that I've used are the Kaiser Craft script stamp and from the collection from Prima the printery collection of stamps I've just taken the tiny one that says a love story so Pull together whatever you've got. Um, you can get the same effect using um, all sorts of things out of your own stash. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So first of all, I'm going to colour the letters and the hearts with the red ink and put the stickles on and those are going to dry. So let's do that. my little ink pad I'm going to move all of these out of the way so small amount of ink this is the fired brick and I'm just going to I like to pick them up and tint them. I'm just going to lightly tint them by just catching the stamp on the edge of the paper. I forgot what I was saying then. And then working the ink in and then to get a darker effect you just go over with more ink. The nice thing about the distress inks is that you can build the colours up. Um, let's just take those a bit darker and that one and then the hearts now the hearts I coloured really lightly with um, my pad just barely touching it and then I ink them more heavily around the edge just to get that red edging so really lightly and then just work downwards Whoop. is that alive? to put a, a red edge on and that also gets rid of the um, white edges as well. So those are the two pieces and I'm just going to cover those in um, the candy cane stickles so that they can start to dry while we put the rest of the tag together. Shall I zoom in a bit? I'm not very good at doing this. Oop. So tiny little bit on 
and then just work it around with your finger. Well, I put a little bit on. I don't like them to be over glittery, but just have um, a bit of a sparkle to them. And it doesn't take long for them to dry, really. So that's that one done. And then I'm going to do, whoops, do the letters the same. Perhaps more on the letters. So there's the B. I love stickles. Completely addicted to them. And the E. Whoops. Okay, so I've just put those aside to dry. And next we're going to colour our tag and to do that I'm going to use the tea dye ink Oops. it's all going wrong let's move those out of the way and I'm going to just build up the colour from the edge of the mat Again, being quite random with it. I like the corners to be slightly darker. So keep working around. From the outside inwards and in a circular motion so that you don't get square edges of dye off your um, pad. And then I'm just going to run some vintage photo around the edge. Again, just to give a dark edge and also to get rid of those white. Oops. Edges before we put the UT on. And the tags do get messy on the back, but we're going to cover that up with the back tag. So I'm just going to work that vintage photo over the edge so that when we stick the front and back tag together, there's no um, cream card showing. Okay, move those out of the way. Now I'm going to put some embossing ink on, the clear embossing ink. losing it's sticky I've had to order a new one so again just work it around the edge of the tag and then over that before I put the enamel on, the um, UT, I'm just going to take my script stamp and using the archival ink, just ink it up and I just want it to go across the bottom corner down there. So let's make sure that it's the right way up. So I'm going to place that on and then just press it down with my lock. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. 
and lift it up just to put some script across the bottom there. Just let that down, dry for a couple of uh, seconds. And then I'm going to put the first layer of... Um, no, I'm not actually. I'm going to colour the other pieces and we'll put the UT on all together. So let's just move that out of the way down there. Okay, other pieces that we want to colour are um, the Cupid. And I'm just going to do him with vintage photo around the edges. And then I'm just sort of brushing lightly into the centre of his wings. Again, just to put some very light colour on there. Um, but just experiment with your inks. And again, work the ink around the edges to get rid of that white edge bit fiddly around the hands. Oop. And then around the face. So it just puts a bit of shadow on the uh, on him before we, we stick him down. That's where we're going. And then I'm going to do the same with the book frame, uh, the book plate. Just work the ink. I'm going to do the edges first. Just to get the strongest colour. And then the inside edge as well. And I'm just working my ink pad from the inside out just to give the uh, ink to fetch around that inside oval. That's the book plate done. And then we need the centre of it as well. So again, I'm just going to ink around that with the vintage photo. Oh, it's alive. Not covering it, but just uh, giving it a bit of shadow. I don't know if you can see that. And then in the middle of that one, before we do anything to it, I'm just going to stamp the um, a love story stamp. Now, can I do it upside down? Let's have a look. Cute. <laughs> So there are the three pieces and, excuse my arm, whoop, our tag now that we're going to cover with um, the thick embossing enamel. So I'm just going to ink these with the clear embossing ink. So all three of them. You'd normally press down onto your ink pad, but mine's on its last leg, so I'm just working this into the sponge. 
is the cherub. Just going to sprinkle on the uh, embossing powder. Just do it on my piece of paper. I've ordered myself a little tray this morning. Because this stuff does get everywhere. Okay, sprinkle it over. And then tap off. the excess. This is really really <laughs> Two. Three. Just put those down at the, the front. And now I'm going to just um, put the tag in here and just get that embossing powder to start sticking around the edges. It's not sticking very well, so I'm just going to put some more... Um, let's press that onto some more ink on the tag. And this is the clear embossing ink. Should stick there. Yeah, that's better. Messy business, this. Right. You do get covered. Well, perhaps that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that back in my pot. And then I've got the heat going. It's going to be um, a bit noisy. Let's just move these out of the way. So I'll just work on the, the tag first. So um, just holding it quite a way away, it, it melts very quickly, this um, beauty. Can you see that's melted now and it's quite random all around the edges and because it's just one layer I've only melted it so the bubbles the um, crystals start to, to melt but they don't all move into each other and that is because over that I just want to put um, a little bit of vintage photo ink and that will work its way into any little cracks around those crystals, those melted crystals, and just give um, a darker effect. The 
again it's all very random. If you find you've got areas where um, the UT hasn't stuck, just go over it again. So I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but the ink's just worked into the, the cracks. And I really like that, that look. Okay, now for, um, I've got the other three pieces to do, so I'm going to do the centre of the plate first and the cherub, so just get my gun again and do those. I'm just going to hold them down um, just with the end of my scissors because they will fly off. So let's do the cherub first. It's quite hot when it's first melted, so um, mind your fingers. Right, I'm going to do the book plate now. We're going to do something slightly different with this. So, that's layer number one. We're going to build this one up so it's got three layers on it and then we're going to stamp into it. Oops. So just let layer number one dry. Okay, so more embossing ink on there. I'll just work it into the, uh, the pad. Melt it again. And here it is, the finished book plate that um, I've embossed with the um, script stamp while it was still warm and with a bit of um, the archival coffee ink on it and it's just indented the script print to give some really nice dimension and um, variation on the flat shiny finish. Okay. So we've got all of our pieces together. I've just put a couple of brads um, through the book plate just to finish that off. And I've folded one of the hearts up and just inked the back of it because uh, it's going to sit over the top of the um, other one. So to stick it all together, let's get the glue. The book plate goes on first. And I need to remember where I want the words to go, so let's just drop those on. Because I don't want to cover them up. Whoops. So they're going to start. Still a bit tacky. <laughs> no, we don't do that. 
I wanted the, the letters to go over the script like that and then the book plate to just sit at an angle here. So put your glue on the back and just hold it down so that it starts to stick. It will curl up. Um, like that's doing so it might need some more glue just under those ends. So let's put a little bit under each end. That's just where the brads are. Bit under there and a little bit more under there. Hold those down a minute. So while that's sticking, while I'm holding it, the centrepiece I've put a small piece of foam tape on the other side. I wanted that just to raise up a little bit um, when it sat in the middle here. Not too much. So I'm going to put glue either side and then just take the foam tape off. It's not sticking. It will stick. Just need to uh, hold it down. That's it. If all else fails, double sided tape is very good for just holding things down. Okay, so now I'm going to put the centre in. I'll have to re stick that. So just drop the centre in. I forgot to put the glue either side. Don't forget to put the glue on it before you put it in. Just to hold those two edges down. And take the tape backing off. Yes, we've done that. And then that just sits in there like that. It's only slightly raised, but just enough. Right, I'm just going to pinch that. Been a bit pesky. And then the cupid sat um, down at the bottom, just pointing up to the word. So again, I'm going to ink the bits of the back of cupid that are going to stick out over the edge of the tag. So his wing, and this is just with vintage photo ink. And his little foot. And then I put some double sided tape down the inside of him. So just a long strip. Let's get that. Not too fat. See if that's too long. Yeah, we'll just cut that. I'll have a bit on his body and a little bit. Pop dots are brilliant. I just use, um, I'll cut everything down to size off my double sided tape roll. And then I'm just going to put some glue on his hands and his leg. That side. And he's ready to go on. And he's just going to go down there. Like that. Let's just hold him down until he sticks. Is he stuck? Yes he has. Okay, and then the hearts just sit up here. So the flat one, I'm just going to put ink on the back of that. Not ink. <laughs> I 
it's quite early in the morning, I don't think I'm quite awake. Um, and just put that one above the book plate. And the second one, I'm just going to glue the fold and then just position that one slightly across and down onto the book plate. And then I'm just going to push the centre down so that the glue starts to stick. Move it at an angle. And that, apart from the letters, is our tag finished on the front. So let's just stick the letters down. So F E B Apologies, this is really caggy handed. And I'm doing it upside down. Just jiggle them around until you've got them where you want them to go. And with B, let's just move that one across. I just want the B to sit under his foot. Let's just lift it up. F E B. There. Press those down. And then um, we've got our little eyelet or hole reinforcer to go on at the top. So ink that. And I've used a vintage photo for mine. stick, turn it over, bit of glue on the back and stick him down and then we need to do the back so let's just move our tag, which way, <laughs> I'm going to put it over there So the back piece for the tag, exactly the same, cut out of the same die. I've put double-sided tape all the way around the edges. And before I stick that down, I'm just going to ink the side that's got the double-sided tape on, just along the edge. And then if it isn't lined up properly, and they are quite hard to line up together. You don't get that cream line. So that's the piece inked all around on that side and then turn it over and just lightly from the edges inwards ink around just to finish off the back of the tag. And then when the two go together, it covers up um, any ink that's strayed onto the back of the front tag that you've decorated. Okay, and then take your um, strips off, the backing paper. Then line the two tags up and stick them together. So I normally start at the top, line the two top edges up and the corners as best I can. That's right. And stick them down. Put a piece of tape up the middle of that um, back as well, and that just um, holds the middle down and stops the tag from bubbling. 
and there it is. There's our finished tag. So all that's left to do now is to put the ribbon in the top. I've used um, a big red ribbon for uh, mine, but anything from your stash, the whole point of this project was not to buy anything. So um, I can't get it through. I didn't want to use the vintage photo ribbon on this. Um, the vintage, what am I saying, the vintage seam binding. Now let me see if I can tie this upside down. I wanted it to sit this side, so all of the angles, let's just cut it. So while I was tying it, I was sort of pulling it at an angle this way. do it again. So pull it there and then I want the bow to sit across that space. Again, okay, another keggy handed bow tying activity. And then I wanted the ends of the bow uh, to go down there. So just move them about until you've got them where you want them before you tighten the bow up. So it's just a case of pulling it and tightening it. It's not brilliant, so I'm going to just stick those so they stay where I want them to go. It's not playing this morning. Okay, so then I'm going to just trim those um, ribbon edges. I like them to be pointy, so fold the ribbon in half. And I'm going to have to turn this round, do it this way. No, cut from the outside up to the centre fold. I know this is all looking terribly fiddly. So there's one done. Let me just do this one. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of foam tape under each of those ends. just to hold them where I want them to sit. So, one here. And press it on. And then the other one is just going to sit over the top of that. Just here. my bow and the last thing to do then is if you're going to do it just cover your letters in glossy accents this should work because I have put it in some hot water just to give them that raised shiny finish and once the glossy accents is dried the glitter shines through so just not putting too much on Otherwise it runs over the edge of your letter, but just enough to cover it and for it to raise up slightly. Just go up to his leg and then round there. And there it is. There's our finished February tag. So I hope you've enjoyed making that one and I'll see you in the next video for the March tag. Thanks for watching.